students how are you let's start the third session of the catechism class of standard 11 i assume you submitted the activities of last chapters if not please submit it at the earliest to get the attendance In this chapter, we are going to learn about the personality of Jesus. In fact, we as Christians need to follow the same personality and be a true disciple of Jesus Christ. He is one of the most influential persons in the world. We will have two parts for this lesson. Let's start with part one. Personality of Jesus is clearly depicted in Gospels of Saint Matthew, Saint Mark, saint luke and saint john who were there with jesus christ and witnessed how jesus brought salvation to humankind now we will look into the important personalities of jesus christ that make him one of the most influential person one he is the obedient and beloved son of god two jesus he is the absolute redeemer three he was friend of sinners four jesus shows us what is truth five jesus bravely fought and defeat evils six he always be the friend of poor seven jesus being son of god was very meek and humble eight Jesus forgives and 9. Jesus shows mercy to the needy. In this part of video, we will look into four aspects of personalities. Son of Father, Absolute Redeemer, Friend of Sinner and Witness of Truth. 1. Jesus, Son of the Father. God himself revealed to the world Jesus as his only son and he is beloved one. He is obedient and beloved son of God. Jesus was aware about his responsibilities. He always seek his father's guidance and blessings. As Jesus did, we need to surrender ourselves to the will of God and confirm to the heart of Jesus. We are also called to be God's children through Christ. 2. Jesus, the Absolute Redeemer In Chapter 1, we have seen the Jesus as Savior. He is the only Redeemer. Purpose of the incarnation of Jesus Christ was to offer total redemption of the world. Personality of a human being has formed on three spheres, body, soul and spirit. Body. It's a person's physical appearance and its characteristics. In fact, it has least weightage amongst other parameters. Soul. It is an inborn characteristic of a person. A person can just improve or deprive some factors depend on the person's attitude and aptitude. Spirit, the most important part for the formation of an ideal personality. We can develop this to any level depend on our thirst to it. 
when we mix all these parameters in right proportion it forms a good personality the freedom and redemption offered by jesus is complete and wholesome he offers salvation through forgiveness of sins but the path jesus took to save us was different and difficult the way of cross three jesus friend of sinners he came to the world for our salvation there are some incidents explained in the gospel to mention that jesus is friend of sinners he said clearly why he wish to be friend with them watch the video how jesus met levi the tax collector and changed him after which another video of how jesus saved a woman accused of adultery There was a man who collected money to pay the taxes. His name was Levi. What kind of work was it he did? The ruler in the land would say to him, I want you to go and collect the taxes from the people. He would go and collect 200 pounds. But he would not give the ruler 200 pounds. He would hand in only 150 pounds and keep 50 pounds for himself in his pocket. Every time he hid the money, he became richer. And the people hated him. Along came Jesus and saw him at his booth on the road. And Jesus looked straight at him and said, Come and follow me. And Levi got up and left his booth and followed Jesus. Then he threw a party in his house in honour of Jesus. And there was a great party as he had invited all his friends. Many sinners came to his party. And some important religious people said to Jesus' friends, why do you eat and drink with sinners? Well, what did Jesus say to them? A person who is well doesn't need the doctor, only those who are sick. I did not come to call good people. I came to call sinners. That it hath been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. For whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, Master, this woman was taken in adultery, in the very act. Now Moses, in the law, commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? What sayest thou? He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her.
woman. Where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? Jesus wished to pardon all the sinners who come to him and that's his attitude to offer the salvation but with one condition sin no more now we will check how Jesus be a witness of truth Jesus came to this world to bear witness and testify to God's love and truthfulness. Let's see what was the conversation between Jesus and Pontius Pilate when Jesus said about truth. For this I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. From the book of St. John chapter 18 verses 37. Art thou the king of the Jews? Sayest thou this thing of thyself? Or did others tell it thee of me? Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my people fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. Art thou a king then? Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, you have paved us the way for salvation and to be true children of God. Bless us to follow your path and make us part of your salvation. Amen. Dear students, please don't miss to submit your activities of this chapter by next Sunday without fail.
Here we conclude part 1 of chapter 3. We will continue the chapter in next video. Stay home, stay safe. God bless you all.